Tonight, a story that will warm your heart and really restore your faith in humanity. 8 News Now had a front row seat to a kind of generosity not seen very often. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. We recently introduced you to Joel and his adoptive mother, Paula. They needed help. And tonight, the I-Team's Vanessa Murphy reminds us just how tough their life could be and shows us a miracle no one saw coming. Rise and shine, baby Joe. Paula Cheney's dedication to her adoptive son, Joel, knows no bounds. Ready for some water, man. At two months old, he was placed in Paula's home through protective custody after he was beaten. Joel was placed back with his mother two years later and was abused again. A second beating left the once healthy child unable to walk and needing around-the-clock care. Paula adopted Joel and his older sister, who was not physically harmed. My heart desire is to make sure that this little boy has the best opportunity and the best that life has to offer. Jacqueline Bluth, who prosecuted Joel's mother for child abuse, has stayed in touch with the family, helping with Christmas gifts and support for Paula as she cares for Joel. I think she just deserves so much more than I could ever give her. Ah. She noticed how Paula, who's 72 years old, struggles to transport Joel, who's in a wheelchair. He's 10 years old and weighs about 80 pounds. They need a wheelchair accessible van. Too young, As like the I team like, reported, young, like the chief deputy district attorney has been trying Wilson, to raise money uh, for it. Became... Our two stories on how the system failed Joel and about Paula's dedication to the boy got the attention of viewers like Paul Jaramillo. We were touched by the story and having used mobility vehicles for years, we know how easy it makes your life. Paul lost his ability to walk about five years ago after being diagnosed with PLS, primary lateral sclerosis, which progressively causes weakness in muscles. The disease has also taken his voice. Paul's son James also uses a wheelchair due to an accident 14 years ago. The family, which runs Par 3 Landscape and Maintenance, a longtime and successful Las Vegas business, contacted the I-Team to say Paul would buy Paula and Joel a van. I'm so grateful that this story impacted my, my dad to the extent that it did and, and we're able to be involved now. The I-Team visited Paula Monday, one week after the first story aired, for what she thought was an update on how the community responded with comments and calls. I'm telling you, it's just been our really, really good, surprising. Paula didn't know what was waiting outside. I'll let you get the door. Hi! Jacqueline walked Paula outside for the big reveal. So? Oh, stop, girl! <laughs> so this right here is yours. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's okay. It's okay. You deserve you. this. You deserve this. I hear Joel's laughing and smiling. Over here, we have the Jaramillo family. This is Paul. So, Paula, he saw you on the news. He did. Oh. And he was so moved by your story that he went and he bought this van for you. He did. Thank you so much. Thank you. Life will be different for Paula right. and Joel now with this 2016 Honda Odyssey. Oh I need to meet Joel now. Let's meet Joel. Yeah, come on. Meet Joel. Hey, buddy. He won't be confined to school and home <laughs> anymore. It's something that hits close to home for okay. our family, and, and my dad watched the broadcast last week on the news that Vanessa did about Thanks. your situation, and he was touched and wanted to do something. Well, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. I, I just don't have the words. <laughs> Words that don't show. Well, you don't. You don't need any that. words. Just take the keys. <laughs> it's all yours, buddy. In addition to the Jaramillos, Eight News Now viewers donated more than fifty thousand dollars to a GoFundMe account called Wheels for Joel. We set up the fund with the idea of getting a a, a van, but thank you to the Jaramillos, Neos, we didn't um, have to use that money, and so I'm setting up a trust for Joel that we can put that money in for his future treatment or for your needs and taking care of him. The Las Vegas Valley stepping up after a tragedy. It was an act of evil and malevolence that put Joel in this situation. It takes an angel like Paula in order to pick up 
to pieces and help him uh, lead a normal life and, and take care of him. Vanessa Murphy. You're the true angel. Oh, oh thank you. Eight News Now. Oh. It's pretty great, right? The uh, GoFundMe page remains active for anyone else who would like to contribute for Joel's care. Prosecutor Jacqueline Bluth says for anyone who's donated and wants their money back since the Jaramillos paid for the van, they can contact her and she will give them their money back. For more information, you can visit the online version of this story at LasVegasNow.com.